So the next question is how, which Lou kind of already touched on there. And this is what is going to be the most important part of today because you can all have goals and aspirations, but if you don't know what to do in the meantime, those goals are just things written down on this piece of paper. So how is what we've created here, and Lou created the actual format of our, <coughs> take it away. Yep, uh, the actual plan mean? format. So <laughs> plan is an acronym. There are a lot of acronyms out there like SMART for SMART goals. Um, I started with plan and then tried to kind of make everything work, and it did, fortunately. <laughs> but, I, but I always had, I had sentences first that I knew in my head what it should look like. I was always writing my goals in a certain way, and then I just had to make it into an acronym, right? So the plan formula is purpose, limit, action, number, okay? So it should all read like a sentence. Your Complete goal should say something like, I will blank by blank. I will do that by action one, action two, action three. I'll track my progress by blank, right? And that's where the number comes in. So anything that you're, that needs, that's gonna get done needs to be measured. It has to be specific, has to be time bound. These are all concepts that are in other goal planning sessions, I'm not like taking credit for coming up with the concept of goals and setting a deadline, um, but I, I've simplified it. I, I think that this, this works well for my brain. I like to break it down and like just make it really simple. I need, I need simple things. So to do that, obviously, if you're doing just breaking your larger goal down into three actions that you need to take, great. How do you actually take those actions? Which brings us to our tasks. So you want to improve on your marketing because you want to boost your sales business. How are you going to boost your marketing? What are you going to actually do week one, week four, week six? What are you doing every week to make those actual actions come into play? And it breaks down a little bit more as we go through. And don't write on these pages yet. We have blank ones for you to fill in. But this is going to be an area where many of you might get stuck. So during our break times and lunch, and also after we wrap up today, if you have a goal there that you want to improve your marketing but you don't know how, talk to one of us. We also have your peers around you. Some of them might be doing excelling in marketing already and be able to offer some insight to your struggles. So take this opportunity. You're in a room of fabulous entrepreneurs. Talk to each other. Help each other. Follow through the whole mindset of what today is. And if you really still don't want to talk to the person next to you, again, you can get on our calendar. <laughs> awesome. So uh, this slide uh, covers the, it gives an example of the plan format. It's going to be a lot easier to read in your binders, actually. Um, so what I've done is we've taken uh, a simple sales goal and broken it down into different actions and deadlines. And we have, you know, kind of steps that you need to take in there. We have tasks. So the goal is... I'll earn 100K by selling 30 homes at an average price of $250,000 by the end of 2022. To meet that goal, I will A1, action one, market myself on social media, ask past clients for referrals, and farm the Twin Pines neighborhood. I showed this to Keith the other day. He's like, where's Twin Pines? I'm like, I don't know. I made it up. And I had to make it generic enough that it'll apply in Rhode Island where Jess is and Connecticut and Mass and, and everywhere else. Um, so that's just one example of kind of a goal format. And I want to put it into a, a kind of a sort of familiar setting for all of us. We all set sales goals where we should be. We should be thinking in that type of way. And you can use this format um, to help you with that. Now I have um, broke down the, those actions a little bit farther. And this is where I think some of the other models fall short. Smart goals are great. They have to be specific and measurable and attainable and time bound and all those things. But it doesn't break down into step by step tasks. How am I going to actually do that? I think that's where that model falls short. Um, so here under the plan formula, we wrote three different actions. The first one is market myself on social media. And there are three tasks that go with it. One is post one educational video per week. Go Facebook Live at new listings. Post about properties just listed, just sold. So you can see how those tasks work as sort of like a subset of that action. Then we have the second action, asking past clients for referral with three tasks under there. You can read as well as I can. And then action three, farming that Twin Pines neighborhood also has some tasks associated with it. We kept it simple just to three tasks because 
again, you don't want to overload it. I've had people, I've sat down and done goal setting and had people have like five or 10 different ways of accomplishing one task. And it's like, okay, well, what are you really going to do at the end of the day? I know I'm not going to do 10 things to accomplish one goal. I just, just has never a worked for me. A week or a month or to even get you to that next step, you're stuck trying to accomplish step one. And guess what? It's probably never going to happen if you overcomplicate it.